Hello students, today we are going to start our new chapter that is chapter 1. The name of the chapter is Integers. Here we will study more about integers, their properties and their operations. So look at our slides. Now integers. Integer is nothing but the set of numbers. What is an integer here? Integer consists whole number. Whole number is means what? Whole number start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Now, 0 is also an integer, but neither positive or neither negative value. Now, here the set of number is 0 is between before that minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and after 0, 1, comma 2, comma 3 and so on. Look at this here. A whole number anywhere from 0 to positive or negative infinity. So the set of integers here in curly braces we mention here in between 0 and after 0 1 comma 2 comma 3 so on and before 0 negative value. So we can represent in number line also the set of integer of a number line here. Now the set of integers in between 0 here neither positive or nor negative value. After 0 the right side part positive integers. Before 0 the negative values we will mention in left side of the part here. So negative integer before 0 and right side positive integer. So the set of number what do you mean by set of number here? It consists natural number that is 1, 2, 3, 4 so on. Whole number it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 so on. Integers also included here either positive value also and either negative value also. Rational number here included any number that can be written as a fraction. But in integer fraction is not included here. These all are set of numbers. Now the absolute value this is our main concept here the distance away from 0. If I represent in the number line it will be show here 0 in between. Before that 3 unit here mentioned. 3 unit means left side of the part. Left side means negative value. If I take negative value in mod, absolute value if I return as in mod minus 3. So it become positive value. So look at here right side of the part of the number line. Here mention 4 units. What it mentioned here? 4 units. If I write in mode positive 4 value, it becomes positive only. So this is all about absolute value. Now integer rule. There are 4 types of rule here. It is very main important part in our integer. So here if I add in integer, first is positive integer add with positive integer so it become positive only. If I add two negative value here so it become negative value. So third one is if I add positive with negative value so we will get positive value only. Now last one is if I take negative value with positive. So we will get negative value. Look at some example here. First is if I add positive integer 4 plus positive integer 9. So we will get positive value only. Next one is if I add both the negative value. Look at see here minus 3 in bracket plus 
minus 9 in bracket. So these both are negative value. So how we will do? Minus 3 as it is plus comes over here multiplication in multiplied by negative value. So we will get negative. It means plus minus minus. So it will become minus 9 as it is equals to what will we get minus 12. Next is positive with negative integer. So here positive 6 will be consider here and negative in bracket. If I write any negative value, so we have to write in bracket. Okay, so plus minus here minus. So 6 minus 4 we will get 2. Now last one is minus plus means minus. So here negative value is minus 6 and positive value is 4. So how much we will get? Minus 2. Here minus 6 as it is plus as it is 4. So minus 6 plus 4 we will get minus 2. Okay fine. Next is this is all about example of integers rule. So if I add in addition part first rule become addition. So same sign if I take add and take the sign minus 3 plus minus 4 so we will get minus 7. If I take two positive value so we will get positive value only. If I take different sign so subtract and take the sign of largest absolute value. It means negative with positive value if I am going to add so we will get positive one. So here also if I take negative with positive value so we will get negative value here. Next is subtraction. Second rule is subtract. So what we will going to subtract change to add the opposite number here. Here minus 3 is negative value with a positive value. If I if I am taking both the value here first is negative and second is positive and right hand side part is first is negative and second is second one is also negative. So what we will get here L LHS equals to RHS will be same here. So this is all about subtraction. Now next comes to multiplication. Multiplication comes here same sign if I multiply two number so we will get positive answer. In divide if I take different sign so we will get negative answer. So this is all about main concept of integer rules. So this is all about integers. Hope if you are understand you will get better. Now so that is all about today's topic. We will continue in our next session. Till then stay safe. Goodbye. Take care.